Hi, I'm Ian and I'm the Lonely Chef. And we have a fabulously funny show for you in the next half an hour. At the end of the show, there's a number and I want you to jot it down and, and call me because, well, I'm single and I'm looking for a date and possibly a relationship and who knows, maybe even marriage. I'm looking to meet somebody special. I'm fabulously wealthy. I want to settle down and I want to share this wealth with that special person and just live happily ever after. So enjoy the show and hopefully we'll meet. Until we do, goodbye. Oh, uh, one more thing. <laughs> I do happen to lie an awful lot. <laughs> Lonely, I've been searching for so long. Lonely, only hoping you're the one who will change my life and make these dreams come true. Penguins, right at home. Ooh, how are you guys? Ooh, you must feel great. Ugh, where is he? <laughs> Ian! Doggone it. I want to show you my outfit. Where are you? Sheesh. Where's that guy? Ooh, the food's good. You can't be too far away. Oh, I'll leave him a note. Huh. Eh, Ian. I did what you told me about watching the figure skaters. And I wore the outfits that they wore. I sure hope I'm doing this right. But without you, I'd never get a chance to meet any women. <laughs> I'm going to go down to the skating rink where the girls are. I certainly hope you'll be down soon to skate with me. I feel a little odd in my black shoes. I'm very colorful. I sure want the skating to go well because the wig gives me pause to consider wearing one all the time. Help, I need you to let me know what to do next. Okay. P.S. I didn't take any wine. Oh, got a chilly in here. Oh, I was just having a nice little snooze. Uh, I thought I heard somebody here. Oh, I get, oh uh, note from Chris? Huh. <laughs> I don't know, it must be in Arabic or something. I can't make head or tail of this. Anyway, we've got a wonderful uh, date happening here tonight. We've got, uh, you see, I am one of the best Olympic skating coaches in the world. Oh, <laughs> yeah, right. And uh, in my capacity as head coach of over 15 different countries competing in the same Olympic Games, 
uh, <coughs> it's up to me to make sure that the skaters are the best at what they do. And I met this young lady who's a professional figure skater, and uh, we have a date tonight. We're going over a few moves, which I think you will find very interesting to watch. Um, these are uh, classic moves that will probably result in scores of at least a perfect 10 every time. <laughs> so stay tuned and we'll be right back with the perfect move. Bye bye. <laughs> I was just uh, getting ready to uh, put together this show for Dayal, who is a magnificent, wonderful figure skater. Uh, she has won over 15 gold medals in the Olympics, and um, which is second only to myself, who has won over 32 gold medals in the Olympics. <laughs> uh, not just in figure skating, but in figure dance, and uh, also in uh, water polo. And. <laughs> uh, the neat thing about what I was doing in the water polo field was that uh, it was actually frozen at the time uh, when the Olympics were held in Juneau, Alaska, the Winter Olympics. Uh, the power system broke down and the swimming pool, the Winter Olympics uh, polo, uh, water polo tournament, actually took place in about 40 below uh, temperatures. Well, the pond uh, or the swimming pool froze up and I was the only person there that could brave the Arctic cold and I actually swam through four foot uh, thick ice and I scored the winning goals for both sides and um, it was uh, nice for me because I got both a bronze, a silver and a gold medal in that particular event and uh, I was so pleased with myself uh, that when the, uh, the Canadian Coast Guard asked me to be their icebreaker across the, uh, uh, the Arctic, I uh, offered my services and um, the streamlined chest of mine, the, the streamlined chest of mine, is able to break through 16 feet of ice in one solid blow. So, anyway, that's just something I thought you might like to know. But anyway, <laughs> what we're going to do today is prepare a wonderful meal, and you must try this at home. It's just very, very simple. There's not too much to it. One of the first things that we're going to do is uh, uh, put together a little sauce here. We're going to make uh, chicken breast stuff with brie. You can also use camembert, which is kind of nice. And uh, what happens is the chicken sort of goes a nice golden brown and the, the cheese melts in between and then you put this nice wine sauce with peppers and bits and pieces. It's absolutely terrific. So we have our uh, brie cheese here. We'll just put this to the side. And what we're going to do is just prepare the basic ingredients for our uh, uh, little sauce here. Now, first thing, I need a spoon. Just, just follow me here while I get a spoon. And <clears throat> we're going to put a little butter into the, uh, the pan. Let's just get that sizzling away. And uh, we are going to just put in a little bit of lemon juice, which uh, just gives a nice slight tang to it. So we squeeze that in. Oh, <laughs> can you smell that? Uh, go on in. Now, yeah. that, <laughs> Chris, what are, what are you doing? I think I did something wrong. Well, Come on I in. followed your advice. I watched the figure skating on TV. I wore what they wore. But I think the red and the turquoise clashed. Because I got down there and, you know, the women kind of went the other way. <laughs> well, I'm not surprised, actually, Chris. I, I don't think it really has anything to do with your dress here. Um, I think um, you, you, you actually did the wrong thing here, Chris. I, I, I perhaps didn't explain myself carefully, but this is the ladies' costume. It's not the male costume. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I didn't explain it. I, I didn't think that you would... <laughs> now, would I set you up? <laughs> well, maybe I would, just a little bit. But, uh, well, maybe I would all the time. You mean to tell me I got on a bus and went down to the ice rink wearing a turquoise tutu and I wasn't supposed to tutu? That's right, right. <laughs> it's not very funny, Ian. <laughs> well, Chris, maybe what I could do is compensate a little by uh, help getting you to help me do this. With your date? No, 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 just with the food. 
Uh, my dates are my dates. And uh, the reason that I sent you down there is that a lot of women do like to ice skate. And it's a terrific sport. It's, it's very healthy. Women were everywhere. Well, I couldn't get near them, but I saw them over the distance. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's uh, you know, the trick is getting closer over a period of time, Chris. And what you need to do is develop this persona. And what I do is I tend to lie a lot because I find that that's the good basis for a starting relationship. Wait a minute. You, you lie a lot in the relationship? Yes, but, absolutely. But not to me. <laughs> Would I lie to you, Chris? Oh, I absolutely sure certainly not. hope not. Absolutely not. You really are in British intelligence, though. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay. I was in British intelligence, and um, in fact, you might see my tummy here. I know that it's uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, around here, mm -hmm. but it's like a parabolic dish, and yeah. I get messages from satellites and stuff. So, anyway. <laughs> what are you cooking? I'm cooking here uh, this sauce, and what we've got to do is get into... Uh, uh, making a sauce, so we cut up some uh, tomatoes. Could I get you to help me again? Sure, and, and love just, to. And, and just, Will I get to meet your date? Uh, well, possibly, possibly. And but she's a just, figure skater? Just take this and put it in the pan. Uh -huh. And <clears throat> we're going to get some peppers here. Now, is that turned on there, Chris? Is that turned on? Uh, no. No, okay. Turn it on for me, please. I have to do everything. <laughs> I have to dress like a fool. <laughs> I have to cook for you. But I don't, get to, I don't get to even talk to these women that you meet all the time. Well, Maybe you can introduce me to one of them and they, they could set me up with one of their friends. That's a possibility. Well, it's a possibility. Um, you know, I think what you have to do, Chris, is remember that, you know, romance is, is, is a game between a man and a woman. There's psychological differences between men and women. Could you just put this in the pan for me, please? Certainly. And <clears throat> the, uh, the object of uh, romance is to establish a rapport between uh, uh, two people that's trusting. You start off with the lying, and then you get to the truth, slowly but surely. And it's... Uh, slowly but surely. <clears throat> slowly but okay. surely, yes. So you don't want to be truthful up front? Not up front, okay. no. That is, that is the wrong way to meet uh, the opposite sex. The thing is, is you've got about 10 seconds to make an impression on a, on a lady that you're attracted well, to. Well, I certainly made an impression on about 100 tonight. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I would imagine. <laughs> Uh, let me just turn this uh, little click down here. Uh, okay. This uh, particular oven is from British Intelligence, and um, we have this metronome built in, which actually gives us a cue when uh, the food is done. It's a very clever uh, little gadget. <laughs> all right. What we're going to do is just put in uh, one mushroom. That's all we need in this little baby. Just one? Yes, yeah, just one mushroom. And, enough uh, for her? <laughs> <laughs> just enough for her. And you put that in. Oh, there you go. You're oh, busy I'm sorry. Doing I should have helped you put that in. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and now what we want to do here is we want to use the end, this is important, the mm -hmm. end of the celery thing. Now, the, now why the end? Because we've already used up the front half. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we put this in. Now, uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to get some cream out of the fridge. This looks lovely, Ian. Lo oh. Wonderful colors. Almost as colorful as my outfit this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just pour this in here. Mm. Doesn't that look wonderful? It does. Now, what we're also going to do, can you uh, get me those peas over here? Because I'm going to strain those. Mm -hmm. And uh, we will be back in just a second with this uh, beautiful meal. We're just going to finish this off and uh, put the peas in. Then we'll peel the chicken and get into some real ice skating technique. Does that sound fun to you? It sounded fun earlier. It sounds good now. That's absolutely terrific. Doesn't that smell nice, oh, Chris? Oh, looks wonderful as well. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay, now what I'm going to do is just add a little more color by straining these peas mm -hmm. here. Now, these peas are actually from my farm in Ireland. I have a... Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, right. I well, have I... actually a, a, a 60,000 acre pea farm. <laughs> uh, sometimes it gets confused with uh, my asparagus farm. Mm. And <laughs> what we're going to do here is just pour these in. And if you'd like to stir that around, Lovely. isn't that wonderful? Yes, looks great. And what happens is that this is all poured over the chicken, which I'm going uh -huh. to prepare right now. Now, <clears throat> as I said, uh, oh, one more thing to go in here. We have some wonderful fresh basil. Oh, and yeah. And <clears throat> these, this basil is from my basil farm, which is opposed to my Frederick farm uh, <clears throat> in Switzerland. Uh -huh. And we just put that in. Very green. <laughs> 
Doesn't that smell? Yeah, some delicious. Oh, can you smell it? Oh, oh. Ooh. 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 <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, a little bit of eggplant and any we spices? It off. Do we put any spices in? No spices no in spices this, Chris. In. Okay. Uh, the the vegetables and the peas and the stuff and the cream just makes it a nice soft texture. It's just absolutely romantic, uh, wonderful, sensuous. Um, uh, I, I tell you what, could you get a spoon out of that drawer there? Certainly. Get a spoon out of that drawer. Big one or little any, one? A big one. I just want you to taste a little of this, Chris, because this mm -hmm. is absolutely wonderful. Just try a little of this now. Mmm. Isn't that good? Delicious. Delicious. Wonderful piece. Okay. Very fresh. What I want to do is quickly show how this uh, cooking is prepared, uh, this chicken is prepared. What we do is we, this is an ordinary chicken breast that we've got from a chicken. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, sounds logical. And uh, we just run the knife, a uh, sharp knife, over the outside of the, uh, uh, the bone of the rib cage and up the center uh, bone. And we do mm -hmm. the same on the other side. Now, it's important with this particular dish that we leave the skin on because uh, the skin actually acts as the binding agent between the cheese and the meat itself. Ah. So it's just a little hint there that uh, I was talking about. So you open that right up like that, but don't right. cut it all the way off. Right. Okay. What happens, we get that to that stage. You see that? Mm-hmm. And we have a boneless chicken breast, but we have the skin intact. A lot of the boneless chicken breasts are sort of, um, you know, see how that yes. comes out nicely? Oh, yeah. Just like you okay. buy in a store. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, what we do is we do another one here. And <clears throat> just move that up. I should let you try this one of these days, Chris, but uh, I don't know. With you and a knife uh, and in your tutu, it could be sort of taken as a wrong kind of image. You know? I'm not wearing that tutu again, Ian. Oh. Oh. Our date's here! Our date's here! My date is here, Chris. No. My, my date. My date, Chris. My date, Chris. Uh. My date. Hi! Hi! Hi. Come on in. Hi. Hi. How are you? Hi. Lovely. Lovely. Hi. 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 How, How are, are you? you? Nice to meet you. Nice Come on to in. See Come you on again. in. Let me take your skates. Here, you uh, take my skates. Ah, uh, yes, the old Hans and Gretel type things that I used to use in Holland. Ah, uh, it brings back a lot of memories. Oh. Yes. All right. Well, I'm glad you came. Oh, as you I'm know, glad I came too. Uh, you know, we had a very brief meeting, and um, yes, it, you know, I just came from the rink right now, and there is a man down there in a bright turquoise tutu. Tutu. I know who that is. That was the fellow that just left here. He is. He's not crazy or anything. No. He's not going to hurt anybody. No, he's not going to hurt anybody. But just be very careful of uh, staying too close to him. Okay, not a nice I won't guy. go close to him at all. But anyway, uh, what we were going to do here? What are you going to show me now? Some well, new techniques on how to we lift. Were, and... When we were at the arena the other day, you were telling me what a great coach you were. Yes. That's yes, great. and you were working on this fabulous new lift. Right. And I would just, I would love for you to show it to me. Right. Because I would make me the best I can be. Well, <laughs> right. <laughs> um, right. Well, what we have to do is to position the arms like this. Now, what I do, you are coming towards me with the skates, and what happens is that I put my arms around your waist, and I lift you up, and I pull you up, up here like this, and I'm going backwards, and at the same time, I do a triple toe lux with oh. five toe loops and a somersault with a full twist, because that's the kind of guy that I am. <laughs> and uh, I did this once, and there was only a, one, one person that could do this, and that was my coach. And he actually died, unfortunately, because, well, <laughs> what happened was that one day he lost control, and the skates were going so fast that they actually dug down into the ice and he got himself electrocuted on some underground oh, no. cables about 15 feet down. But anyway, are you ready to try this? Well, I don't, should we? Well, I, I think we should because uh, if you want to go just there and put your arms up like this. Now, <clears throat> don't try this at home because I am a professional and I am a professional coach. I'm recognized by football coaches in ice skating and every other kind of coach that there is in the world. So, <clears throat> now what you have to do is run towards me and jump. Okay. Ready? Yep. Go. <laughs> oh, 
My timing was. I'm sorry. My timing was a little off because uh, I do have this artificial leg that I lost in oh, the really? Second World War. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And uh, we we have to get this timing done. All right. Okay. Okay. Ready? Go. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Well, wasn't that wonderful? That was wonderful. Now, on the ice, when you get speed up, of course, you can do the spin and you can make this whole thing happen. It's absolutely wonderful. Mm -hmm. How did you feel about that? Um, it was something <laughs> else. Okay. All right. Let's go into the kitchen here because right, I've just got to finish off this, uh, this dinner. Okay, okay. Hold my hand here and right. I'll show you what I'm doing because we have this wonderful meal. Oh, look at this. Wow. Mm, doesn't that look wonderful? That looks great. Can I get you to stir that? I just have to finish off this chicken. And we're going to stuff this with camembert and, uh, oh, sorry, brie cheese. And let's just see what we've got here. And so there's our uh, chicken breasts. What we do is we take our brie and, uh, in fact, uh, we just take a little piece of this, put it in the middle, slice off a chunk here, put it in the middle. And basically what we do is we just cover it up. And we'll put this in the oven and we'll be right back in just a second with these beautiful stuffed uh, chicken breasts. Be right back. such a wonderfully romantic name. Uh, Dale, this meal, you must try this. It's absolutely wonderful. Okay. The uh, chicken breasts are stuffed with uh, camembert or brie cheese. In this case, it's brie. And it's so simple to prepare this dish. Basically, you just uh, are frying a little uh, celery, uh, some uh, peppers, and then you put in some peas, you mix in the cream, and then you decorate this dish like this, a little uh, Japanese eggplant, and it tastes absolutely wonderful. I'm going to just uh, pour you, uh, uh, sorry, pour myself a glass of wine here. Would you like okay. to taste this? I would love to taste it. <clears throat> so how long have you been ice skating? Oh, since I was two. Two? Yeah. Wait a minute, let me give you one of these. You must try right. this. It's Thank absolutely you. wonderful. I'm going to try this little baby myself, too. And how about you yourself? How long well, I was skating, actually, before I was born. Oh, is that right? <laughs> I was one of those child prodigies, you know. It's, oh, uh, yes. it's very interesting to... <laughs> and uh, I, I actually uh, won my first Olympic gold medal when I was only two. Oh. And <clears throat> uh, I've been coaching ever since I was uh, three. For a copy so, of the Lonely uh, Chef cookbook or a videotape of how you can be my guest on the show, or to join our Chef's Club where you could meet someone special on one of our romantic getaway parties, call 1-800-665-CHEF and have your credit card ready. If you would like to write to me personally, please send your letter to P.O. Box 740, Everson, Washington, 98247.